G'day all, it's Colin from PC TLC and thanks for joining me. Today we're just going to run you through the Ubuntu 18.04 daily build. Now, I've been running this for about six to eight weeks, I think. I, I don't really uh, put down the dates that I install, which I probably should do so I've got a more accurate time frame. However, I just thought I'd run you through a couple of things on this. And one of the things that they put up on the uh, OMG Ubuntu was so a few things, but um, this one here is the new theme and the to-do app. This is what I was going to show you first. So you've got the, the to-do app. So I'll just show you that. That's new in 18.04 to do. So you've got these ones here which I've made previously. We can go new list and I'll call it the uh, Linux list. Just name something, enter. And we have a new card. So left click on that. We can make a list. So at this top recording, Enter that. Features. Um, second recording, so. Okay. So with this list, you can change the look of it, I believe, from here. Oh, that's color selector. So you can change your colors. Um, okay, so oh, yeah, I'm in a different screen. So. On here, once you complete the task, you can actually set your task. Say this one will be tomorrow, and it's a low priority. Get out of that, so you can see it's tomorrow. This one here will be next week on the 19th, or say, yep, Monday the 19th will do, and it's a high priority. So the color changes for a higher priority, and it's got the date there. And this one here is um, next week as well, we'll say on the 20th. Click away there, medium priority, click away. So you've got different colors for different priorities. So if we was to go back, uh, we can change the look to a list, a horizontal list there, or we go to the, the uh, icon list. So we can actually, if we right click on one of these cards, we can, we've got the option down the bottom right hand corner to delete or rename or right click on it again or click cancel and that'll cancel all that. And then, because if you keep clicking on that until you cancel, it'll keep highlighting the delete button. Now we can open it. So if you was to right click that, you've got your options here. You try clicking that just keeps turning that on and off. So you need to cancel that. So we can also go into there and choose a color. And we can change the color to uh, probably already blue, isn't it? Let's try a brown select. And then if we go back to one of those ones that had the, the Linux list, all the different colors there. So if I was to change that color, to say a light purple, you've still got the different colors there. So that's a pretty handy little list. Now, if you scratch that, that's the list taken away. Let's just say that you've completed that task. Down here, you can choose to hide the task or you can show the task. Click on that. There it is there. You can see it's got a line through it. It's completed and it's ticked off. Or you can hide it. Show, hide, there you go. And there's your different colors. So that's the to-do app, new in Ubuntu 18.04. Now, the other thing I wanna show you is they were getting rid of Top Icons Plus, but everything I've thrown at this so far has got the app indicators up the top. You can see my OBS is running there. I did have Galaxy S5 connected. It's unpaired at the moment. My laptop is unpaired, although I haven't connected it, must have picked it up. 
and you've got the Telegram app indicator there. And if I was to open a Zoom, there you have the Zoom as well there. So they all appear to be working. So that's all good. Now, on OMG Ubuntu, uh, there's a new theme. So um, what have they got here? Let's have a quick read. It is intended as a replacement for the aging Ambience GTK theme, about time. The new theme is a work in progress and is not yet included in the Ubuntu 1804 daily builds either, but the theme is already available to install and try out. Just keep in mind that there will be bugs, rough edges, inconsistencies, unstyled elements, and so on. Are you willing to brave it? Yes, I already have. So that's there's the community theme and the Suri icon theme. So I've downloaded that. So let's open up Nautilus and let's open up the tweak tool. Let's have a look. So theme, we've got the community theme. Nice and dark. Well, actually that looks a lot better, doesn't it? I must say. I don't know what everything else looks like. Yep. All right, that looks much better. What about Thunderbird? Oh, I should have done that. All right, so that's all right too. And then we have the icons, Suri, Ubuntu Mono Dark, Suri. So there's a few changing there, not all of them, some of them, but definitely all these folders are changing to something a bit better. That looks a little bit more modern, could probably be a little bit more modernized. I don't know why they just don't go for the papyrus theme because that looks good in most distros at the moment. It's hot off the press, the papyrus theme, it looks quite good. So maybe they should adapt that. It's a nice looking theme. So that is the new theme that they're working on. No guarantees to be in the 1804 build, according to them. Uh, Ubuntu drops Wayland switches back to Xorg. So I've been a daily build. I've installed this. It was running default Wayland. So obviously that's still by default. So looks, I don't know if they're getting rid of it altogether. Whether you're going to have an option to run it or not. Maybe they're not even working on it. Wayland, oh, there we go. Wayland is still installed. If you currently use Wayland on Ubuntu and want to keep using Wayland, when you upgrade to 804 in the spring, you absolutely can. So there you go. Just answered my own question. And the other bit of news here is GNOME Photo App improves its editing tools. So the GNOME Photos is an alternative to Photoshop. Ah, uh, Photoshop, shot well, sorry. And Shotwell is in here. There's your Shotwell app. So GNOME Photos will be included in the GNOME 3.28 GNOME Shell. We are currently running, if we look for info about, we are running the 3.26.2. And this will be in the 3.28. So what's the features? It's shadows and highlights ed editing, ability to change crop orientation, support for zoom gestures, option to set edited photo as a background, and complete support for EXIF rotation. And there's probably a few other things there as well. So that looks pretty handy. So if you like known photos, well, that'll be available once we go to 1804. I can install it. I won't do that now. So that's a little bit of news on OMG Ubuntu. And you got the new theme looking nice. 
Now, just one subject I'd like to touch on. I've been using KDE Neon for a couple of months now, and I've been going through some of the tweaks and all that. And I've decided to install it on my daughter's laptop. Just a cheap, uh, what is it? Lenovo IdeaPad 110. It's just a cheap one. Um, in Dolphin, I was trying to get a right click context menu going. And I'll show you what I mean. So if I open up uh, Calc, Office Calc, and it's a blank document. So we go to File, Save As, we go to Home, Templates, and I give it a name and I'll call it New Spreadsheet. Uh, if I can spell it right. New Spreadsheet, save that. So if I was going to Documents and right click, I can go New Document, New Spreadsheet. Open it up here, rename it, call it Budget, which is what Excel sometimes is very good for. And there you go, so you can open that up. It's already in the folder that you want it to be in. It's already got a name, all you gotta do is save. So that way, once you start working on your document, just click save instead of going through all the hassle. So I find that quite handy, but I just couldn't find that in KDE Neon. Um, still haven't found it, but they do have what they call jump lists in the menu and maybe on these icons here as well. I think it had uh, new, new document as well in jump lists in the icons. So if anyone would, can make a comment on if they do know how to do that, in uh, that apparently they used to be able to do it, but it's not available. So I don't know. I don't know too much about KDE, but I'll do a video on it anyway. So, so that's how you create uh, create new documents. So if you was to go to your text editor, text editor, that's a blank sheet. Save into templates and call it. new text file, save that, go back to files, documents, right click, new spreadsheet, new text file. You can do that with all your office documents and, and so forth, so it's pretty handy. Anyway, that was a look around Ubuntu 1804 nightly build. Hope you liked the video and thank you for joining me.